we're taking you out to the ball game. Yes, yeah, so and right now here's Lauren McDonald with what is still ahead. Lauren. Hey guys, good morning. We are standing on Colorado Springs vintage baseball team's Field of Dreams, and as they rebuild it, they are hoping that they will come. We'll be back after the break. Thank you. It is 548. Well, there are more than 130 teams playing vintage baseball across the country. So what is vintage baseball? Well, right now, Laura McDonald tells us all about it. Lauren. Hey guys, good morning. It is baseball season, and guess what? There is vintage baseball right here in Colorado Springs. I am with Roger Haddix right here. You are a historian when it comes to Colorado Springs baseball, but just baseball in general as well. A lot of history on this field. This is your field of dreams here. Right. Uh, for many years, we've been hoping to have a uh, place for our own. We enjoy playing out at Rockledge Ranch once a year, but we'd like to play in Colorado Springs more than that. So uh, through a partnership with the arena, uh, we'll hopefully get this rebuilt and play it uh, a game coming up soon. But uh, Colorado Springs has a long history of uh, baseball starting in 1874. And close to this field in the uh, 1920s, they had Merchant's Park. Right. So not this field specifically a ton of history, but right down the street, and you guys are replicating all that with your games. Right. You're part of the DNRG Reds. Yes. Your name, AKA Digger. You are Roger on the streets, but you are a digger on the field. That's right. Tell us about that. Well, everybody has a nickname, and you want to choose your own because uh, you won't want to trust the other guys to give you a nickname. Right. <laughs> Mine I got because I go after every ball I can possibly get, and so I dig up a lot of dirt on my uniform. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got that nickname. I see. I love it. And I do love the uniform, love the bow tie. You told me that baseball is a gentleman's game. Absolutely. There's, right. There's a lot of... Uh, gentlemanly talk amongst each other. As a matter of fact, the very first time I was uh, up at the strike, a uh, very large uh, gentleman was wearing a Denver Blue Stockings uniform, had the uh, mutton chops and the whole bit, and he looked at me and said, sir, are you standing in a hole? referring to my lack of height. I said, no, but I'll be standing on second in a moment. <laughs> exactly. Now, what position do you play on this team? Um, currently, uh, most of the time, the captain puts me at, at the second base. Okay. Um, but I have also played uh, the behind and short scout. And sometimes I'll go to the outer garden and play left or mid scout. All right. Very, very cool. And you guys have games regularly, you said? Yes. We uh, started in April and go all the way through October. We travel all over Colorado. Um, we do go on tournament trips, so mm -hmm. in April they will go down to Bisbee and play in the Copper City Classic down there. Right. You're working on rebuilding this field right now, right in the middle of it, and you want them to come, not he to come, you want them to come talking about the fans, That's right? That's right. We'd, we'd love to have the community come out and support us. Uh, they can uh, come out and help us uh, take care of this field a little bit. Uh, right now it's in rough shape. We don't need it in, in absolute pristine shape, but it would be nice to have a a little bit more uh, uh, level playing field, as it were. Exactly. All right. Well, we are going to talk about all the differences from baseball 150 years ago to today coming up as far as equipment and all that. And we're going to show you how you guys can come out and help uh, Colorado Vintage Baseball rebuild this field. Back to you guys. Lauren, thanks so much. It is 5.51. I'll grab your peanuts and Cracker Jacks because this morning it's all about America's past. I love my buddy Roger Haddix out there. Blast for the past. The, the history of baseball yeah. in Colorado Springs is great. Lauren McDonald with what's coming up. Striking the line. Coming up after the break, we're going to talk about why you strike the line and not batter up. That's next. Thanks. 648. Well, the pitching is underhand. A ball caught on a bounce is still an out. And even on a steaming hot day, the uniforms are made mostly of wool. Mm, good times. <laughs> right, yes. We're talking about vintage baseball. And right now, Lauren McDonald is hanging with a member of Colorado Springs' very own team. Lauren? Hey guys, good morning. We are hanging out here at the Field of Dreams, located right off North Weber Street near the arena and indoor baseball training facility right here in Colorado Springs. And we are talking vintage baseball this morning here with Roger Haddix. And Roger, you're a member of the D and RG Reds. Right. Colorado Springs vintage baseball team. Yes. And you guys are looking to rebuild your field. And you know what? You want them to come, you guys to come, 
not necessarily him to come, but you want them to come. Right. I, I don't know if we get Shoeless Joe Jackson out here for this, but we would certainly love to have all of Colorado Springs come out and enjoy uh, the vintage baseball. In addition to Rockledge Ranch, now we'll have games here, right. so we'll get a little bit more exposure that way. Right. And we're going to talk about what you guys are doing to help rebuild this field. But first, let's talk about the differences between baseball back then and baseball today, because there are some big ones, especially with the equipment. Absolutely. You guys don't wear gloves. That's right. They hadn't been invented in 1864, so all ballists were played barehanded, and there's a lot less decoration. So you can see that with this bat, uh, it isn't uh, very uh, no colorful. No fancy, fancy, yeah. It does have, have engraving on there for the DNRG Reds, uh -huh. and that's about it. It's an antique. It's special. <laughs> that's right? right. Exactly. Now, the ball's a little bit lighter, too. Yes, it's lighter and softer, uh, and with that lemon peel stitch, it gives a, a bit of a different uh, play. Uh, to the ball as it uh, bounces on the ground. Right, we talked about your uniform. I love the bow tie. Gentleman's sport, baseball, right. you told me. Now the shoes, are those hard to run in? Sometimes they can be. Um, these ones are lighter than what we've had, but uh, they uh, have a little bit of less traction to them. Okay. Now some players do wear cleats, but that uh, um, is uh, a safety factor right. that we want uh, people to uh, not uh, break an ankle. Exactly. All right, now you guys are right in the middle of rebuilding this field. You would like the community to come out and help you guys, support you guys. How can they do that, and what are you actually doing? What's the vision for this field? Well, uh, when we started initially, what we did is we saw that there was outcroppings of rock. We've gotten a lot of those rocks out, but now we need to get the field graded and leveled, mm -hmm. and then hopefully add some seed so we'll have a, a better looking field as well. Right, and you look at it, it's not perfect, but you don't want it to be completely perfect. That's right, we don't need it in a pristine condition, it makes for more exciting baseball. So that, let's say that the ball is hit to the outer garden, that the, the uh, mid-scout decides he's going to let it bounce, mm -hmm. well it may hit a dirt clod and instead of bouncing straight up and making an easy catch for him, it bounds to the left. Right. When it's, once it's down on that second bound, it's a live ball. Right. That's where Digger comes in, right? That's right. Getting your uniform all diggy. By the way, uh, dirty, excuse me. By the way, I got to tell you, this man right here, he is scrappy, playing without gloves. He has broken his finger twice since playing this game, but you know what? Play at your own risk, right? That's right. And have a lot of fun. All right, guys, coming up, we're going to take a look at inside of the indoor training facility here on North Weber Street. Back to you. Digger's a man's man. <laughs> Yeah. Plus a few broken fingers, right? Hey. 652 right now. 16. There's no question the weather fluctuates here in Colorado, <laughs> especially in the springtime. And if you're training for spring sports, Lord McDonald checking out an indoor facility this morning. Good morning. Hey guys, good morning. It is springtime in Colorado, and you know what that means. It is a great time to train indoors. Coming up after the break, we're going to show you a place right here in Colorado Springs for all ages and all sports. That's next. 19 baseball season is in full swing and this morning we're getting a taste of America's pastime. It's vintage baseball and right now Laura McDonald is at the arena showing us all about the indoor facility and the vintage home team right here in Colorado Springs. Lauren. Hey guys, good morning. We have retired from the field and we are now at the arena home to UCCS Athletics and really all Colorado Springs athletes. I'm here with Doug and, and Roger and Doug, you are the owner and operator of this facility. You guys have been open two years, right. so fairly new. Yes. So what do you guys do here? So we'll train athletes of all ages, anybody from eight years old up to Olympic and professional athletes, help uh, individuals to get better at their game, whether it's soccer, lacrosse, baseball, uh, weight training, uh, we have Olympic figure skaters, we have judo athletes, so if you want to get better at your game or your sport, this is the place to be. Right, and you have a lot of different equipment to accommodate a lot of different types of sports. We do, full Olympic weight room with certified strength coaches, we have 13,000 square feet of uh, indoor turf field, uh, five batting and hitting um, and pitching tunnels, so uh, enough to keep you busy. Right, now what do you think about the DNRG Reds? Well, you know, I've, I've been a baseball player most of my life and, uh, and a coach, and so I was uh, thrilled when Roger said, uh, hey, we need a field to play on and I said well we're your place yeah so exactly yeah. great partnership and now Roger this this new rebuilding of this field this isn't just going to benefit you guys as uh, the Colorado Vintage Baseball Association it's also going to benefit people in Colorado Springs the community right uh, when we play in Colorado Springs we've only played one game and that's at Rockledge Ranch so a lot of people couldn't make it because maybe they go to the balloon festival maybe they go to other events around town and they're like, gee, we just didn't have time to get to it this year. 
with having a home field, our own home field, we'll have more games. That way more people can come see us mm -hmm. and they can uh, get a little more educated and they can see what a fine facility the indoor facility is. Right, exactly. And you're a historian for sure. Now, if people want to come out and see you guys play, the DNRG Reds, Colorado Springs home vintage baseball team, how can people do that? Well, uh, we'll be playing a game on June 3rd. That's a Saturday at 11 a.m. Um, our opponent will be the 1876 Canyon City Inter Oceans, and we have a website. It's uh, www.cvbba.org mm -hmm. that has our entire schedule on there. Right. All right. Awesome. And you're going to be playing in this field? Yes, we'll be playing on the outdoor field uh, on that day, and that's why we uh, will take any help with the community because uh, we'd love to get it in uh, safe, good, safe playing sh shape uh, mm -hmm. for that game. And then people. If they want to come help you guys rebuild the field, how do they get a hold of you to do that? Uh, they can get a hold of myself at uh, rhaddix18 at comcast.net and let me know, and we'll tell you when we're going to be out here. Generally, it's on Saturdays uh, to help uh, clean up, up that field, and rake, and all that good stuff. Very cool, very cool. And I bet you can appreciate that he doesn't wear a glove. I do appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, appreciate exactly. That. Couldn't believe that. Absolutely. Very, very cool. All right, guys, it has been a very fun morning, and make sure you come out here and you support the D and RG Reds, Colorado Springs' very own vintage baseball team. Back to you. Roger also wrote a really cool book all about baseball in the springs and everything. So you got to check that out too, Roger Haddock's there. So thanks, Lauren, for that.